After the first Gulf War in the 1990s, and again after the invasion of Afghanistan in 2001, the Army recognized that its 1980s era systems were inadequate to support the needs of our troops in unconventional conflicts. When U.S. forces began their assault into Iraq in 2003, they did so with a new network that allowed commanders to connect, but only at the halt. The pace of the war quickly outran our forces' ability to communicate, the need to upgrade the network's capabilities and allow both commanders and soldiers to communicate while on the move was clear. WinT 2.0 delivers this capability. It goes back to the basics of what we all do, which is the three basics, shoot, move, and communicate. And all this, all this equipment, it lets us do that faster. Like the Verizon or AT&T network we use every day, WinT is the Army's network it uses for voice and data communications during operations. WinT powers the devices our soldiers use, allowing them to talk, text, chat, and use battlefield applications designed to help them succeed and, most importantly, keep them safe. Providing a mobile voice and data communications brings new capabilities to the warfighter. The soldiers in the field can communicate and share information with each other. The commanders can in turn communicate with and share information with the soldiers in the field and with the freedom to move wherever they need to be on the battlefield. This type of mobile communication that many take for granted every day is just now becoming available to our troops operating overseas. The ability to uh, communicate with the BFTs and everybody else, you can see everybody on the field know where they're at, is, it's really helpful. The purpose is to enable the commander to make informed decisions anytime, anywhere on the battlefield. This is why WinT is the Army's number one modernization priority. You can look back in history and think about how we commanded on the move. Uh, at one time we used uh, messengers or runners. Uh, we've used uh, flags while we were moving formations. We've used uh, radios to be able to talk to one another. In this digital age, we're now able to pass information rapidly, uh, large quantities of information to create a common picture so that uh, commanders can, can command effectively and get their soldiers in the right place at the right time. 